Well, good morning, everybody. Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. I'm finally going to change that circuit breaker on the camper trailer, the one that crapped itself while we were away on our last trip. In a moment, I'll show you the brake I'm going to replace it with, and then we'll get into it. That's the circuit breaker I plan to replace it with. 42 volt, 50 amp. I reckon it should go in there reasonably well. I don't know if I have to open the camper up to do this or not. I probably will have to, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, that's going to replace that messed up thing that doesn't work and that temporary job I did there. So I really don't know how much of this I'll be able to video. I'll just video bits of it as I go along. Alright, well we're going to start by removing the old zip ties I put in there and there that hold the temporary circuit breaker in. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll be remove the actual temporary circuit breaker out of the line so I can pull the relay out. Uh, I don't think you need to see how I do that. So we'll unbolt that and we'll get back to it. Right, well I've removed that particular circuit breaker that I had there, that one. And uh, I've taped up the two ends of the wire, purely because I can't remember which one goes to the battery and which one doesn't. So uh, it doesn't really matter at the moment. So uh, I've taped those up so they can't short on anything. Next thing will be to remove those four Allen keys and take that, that dead thing out. Now you've all seen how to undo Allen keys and screws before, so I don't need to show you that. So I'll do that and we'll get back to the next bit. Not sure what that bloody thing is, but I'll have to stick that down again. I really don't know what this thing is, but Obviously got something to do with gauges and stuff. I'll unstick that. I'll slash to get back in down the track because it's the only way I can get these two other bolt nuts down here. A little bit fiddly this job. That gets that stupid thing out. So now we'll figure out how to get the other one in. Well, I've got that old circuit breaker off. Here's the new one. Yeah, I've got to drill out this hole a bit bigger. I could reutilize that hole. And I'll put a new hole up there in line with that, and that'll hold that roughly in place. And I'll just be able to hook these two existing wires up to that. And that should be a far better break if it does the job. So I'll just start drill out those and get that on. All those other holes won't make any difference because it's in a supposedly dustproof cabinet. Dustproof that is. Ha <laughs> ha. Chinese trailers. Right, should do that one. Because I never do things like normal people, I'll bolt this part in and then I'll drill the other hole. Probably not the right way to do it, but I guess it hardly matters. It's a bit hard to hold this and get the screwdrivers and shit into it. But using a nylon nut, stainless bolt, Hardest part is just holding the bloody thing in place. Well, hopefully we've got a spanner that fits this time. There's no doubt a hundred better ways to do this guys. But I just 
I don't know, I just fiddle around the things and do them up as I go and drill holes as I go. I don't mark stuff out. I'm not what you call real talent when it comes to that. I get the job done. So that'll hold there nicely. I'll drill another hole for the next one. should be able to get into folding it up. Nylocks are great, but they're a pain in the ass to work with. Good when they're done though. Once well, bolted down from the back, I'll stick this thing Back in there somewhere with a bit of slazo. That's all that's held it before. A bit of slastic. I suppose a bit of slastic will hold it again. Looks like a bit of a common earth or something. I don't really know what this is. Glue it somewhere there. Won't be much different than what it was before, I reckon. Maybe just about there. Better find out if I've even got some celastic. Well, I haven't got any celastic, but I've got some of this. Silly's all fix, or well, somebody's all fix, might not be silly. Oh, here's Silly. So I'm just going to use that. I have no idea if. What kind of job it'll do? It looks very elasticy, doesn't it? So, uh, I reckon it'll hold it. Stinks like elastic. It's messy like elastic. I'll hold that there for a couple of minutes. I'll go pretty close. Times like this, I wish I had a magnetic screwdriver on me. But I don't, so. Just do what we can. Alright, that's that bit. So now all I gotta do is attach these wires to these terminals. And as they've been known to say, Bob should be your auntie's living boyfriend. Here's one I prepared earlier. Well, we got power. Who would have thought it? Do this. We should still have power. So we just won't be connected to the trailer. Or well, from the trailer to the truck would be probably the more correct word method. But that should work. Next thing will be to grab me multimeter and just double check it. Nothing. Nothing, what you'd expect. Should sound like that when it's connected. I'd say that's a success. Looks better than our one too. I know that's a very weird, short, strange video, but that's the next mod on the Blue Tongue camper trailer. Because those crappy, stupid, dodgy, bloody circuit breakers, that one's rubbish. So hopefully that other one will be better. Catch you on the next one.